Chief Sun, some have characterized January 6th as an intelligence failure. Is it true that when you were Chief of Police, Ms. Yogan Yogananda, Yogananda Pittman was the Assistant Chief of Police in charge of the Intelligence Division, yes or no? Yes, sir. In your book, I believe you wrote that the information regarding potential threats prior to January 6th was received by the United States Capitol Police Intelligence Division, but you were not made aware of it until after January 6th. Is that correct, yes or no? Yes, sir, that is correct. Had you seen the United States Capitol Police Intelligence Assessment Report in full issued on January 4th before January 6th? Yes or no? Yes, sir. You had seen the January 4th report? When you say January 4th, it's dated. Now, I just want to make sure there is a January 4th report. It's a, a um, Department of Intelligence, a daily intelligence report. That one? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Would this intelligence assessment report have changed your actions had you received it uh, and, and fully understood all the ramifications of it? When you say fully understood the ramifications of it, there is nothing supporting. Well, what I'm, what I'm getting to is, is that apparently, and what, what I've understood was that as chief of police, you received the report, but there was a comment about some intelligence or about some concerns, but it was put on the last page of the report instead of on the first page. Is that accurate? Okay, yeah, just to make sure we're, we're clear, you're referring to the January 3rd. January 3rd, uh, it's actually all right. Dated, yeah, January 3rd, uh, 20, it's dated 2020, it's supposed to be 2021. Yeah, okay. And that's the final intelligence assessment, but not the final uh, intelligence report that's put out. All right, uh, that's sorry, correct. I got my lingo mixed up. No problem, it's a 15-page report with the intelligence assessment at the end behind two and a half pages of street closures, correct, sir? Well, wouldn't you expect there to be some kind of a warning on the front page or an alert or a highlighting of the fact that there might be a concern by your intelligence department? When you see the amount of intelligence that they had in advance, and you, you can look at some of the testimony from the people that put it together, uh, there was a failure to include specific intelligence that would have been critical to my men and women to be better prepared for that day, yes. All right, just so I'm clear because I'm not sure I understood the answer. Was there something highlighted in the report, or, or was it that there, was not, that there wasn't information that you needed to get to your officers? Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't information. There was a, when you talk about the assessment, the in, uh, intelligence assessment, the very last paragraph, the very last paragraph doesn't tell you anything other than pretty much what we're expecting from any of the previous MAGA uh, rallies, that it could be, you know, there could be some danger, there could be some... Um, um, so it was a fairly issues? standard response and not something that would have highlighted that there was a, a real threat and a real concern. Correct. Not what you're seeing now about storming the Capitol, killing the palace guards, which is referring to my officers. None of that was included in the intelligence. Correct. But that information was available to Ms. Pittman? It was available to IICD, which is a unit she runs. Yes, sir. All right. And Ms. Pittman approved that report that did not pass that information on to you. Is that correct? It came out of her unit, sir. Subsequent to January 6th, when Ms. Pittman, Ms. Pittman was retiring, she was given what I call a sweetheart deal from the United States Capitol Police. That was earlier this year. She was placed on leave without pay while working a new job for several months, about five, before she reached the eligible age to retire. Now, it's clear she had no intent to return to the United States Capitol Police, which is what the handbook says you're supposed to be doing if you get leave without pay, there has to be an expectation of return. During your time in management with the United States Capitol Police, had you ever heard of such a, a sweetheart deal before? No, sir. When, when you were in management, did counsel Thomas Tad Tobias ever indicate that you had the power to give somebody a leave without pay so they could get to retirement without an expectation that they would at least attempt to return to the United States Capitol Police Service? No, sir, not that I recall. Nope. Nobody's ever told you you could do that? No, sir. Did you think you had that power? It, it's written in the policy that you can't offer. Uh, you can't no offer, but there's, an, there's a requirement there be an expectation to return. In this correct. case, there was not. That is correct. You're so you never had the expectation that you could give somebody leave without pay unless they were planning on coming back. Somebody that might have a health problem or something like that's what it's for, isn't it? Correct. That's the policy. That All right. Since January 6, 2021, have you learned of other intelligence reports, and I think you mentioned in your opening, in the possession of the United States Capitol Police or other federal agencies, other federal agencies, which could have been of assistance to you and your decision-making on January 6th? Yes, sir, I have. All right. 